Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Stan 11 show. Everton versus Burnley. A must win game for the Toffees at home on Saturday. Um, yeah, and we've got to go for it. We've absolutely got to go for it and just be attacking from the start, engage the fan base, and um, get good at some rocking, really. And the best way to do that is by attacking teams and showing attacking intent. From the start, so that's what I am looking to do. Uh, Jordan Pickford in goal, of course, after again good performance against Newcastle, uh, a, a match saving uh, performance for Jordan Pickford um, on Tuesday night. I'm going to go for three at the back again. I don't really, don't really care. I'm going to go with that because even though I know the manager is not going to play, I'm still going to go for it. Because why not? Why not? Uh, James Tarkowski. Jared Branthwaite and Vitaly Michalenko are my back three. Um, and I think we can cope with that back three. I really can. I think I think Michalenko will will would fill in e easily at left centre back. I think that's the kind of player he is anyway. Um and and because he is or has played obviously the majority of his career at left back, he can cover that space as well and knows how to cover that space. And all it's about is keeping a tight unit and knowing what each other's roles are. And again, I said it the last time we did a start in 11, we've played this, we've played the system three at the back three times this season and won two of them. Um, one of them being at Burnley. So that's another reason why I'm going to go for it again. So that is my three at the back. Right wing back, Nathan Patterson, um, because he is a wing back. And if you're going to play, if you're going to play. Wing backs, then play a wing back, and he is a he is a wing back. So I'm going to bring him in right wing back, left wing back, uh, Dwight McNeil, who at the moment isn't really doing much in left midfield, and recently he's been playing more inside, and that's been giving us too much width, to be honest. So again, I think that position would suit him massively, playing playing that uh, in midfield. A slight change to. Certainly, what I picked for the last game, and will be a slight change. But based on, based on what we've been doing recently, my three would would I'd have Onana obviously sitting, um, doing what he does, whether people like that or not, whether whether it's what the team needs, you know, whatever. He's still our best number six, and that's his role. He's not a box to box midfielder, you know. That's his role in the team. And that's where he'd start for me. Um, Adrissa Garner Gay will play once again, and I think he deserves to play no matter what. No matter what system gets played, for me, Adrissa Garner Gay needs to be playing for Everton week in and week out. Um, he is the best midfielder we've got of that type. A player who goes putting out fires all over the pitch, and he's still very good at it. And he's got all that experience. And for me, he has to play because he doesn't. He doesn't waste energy. He doesn't. He doesn't waste energy doing, doing other things. If that makes sense, he knows what his job is and he goes and does it. I think that's massively important, especially when, um, when you're a team like Everton and and can't quite get the balance right. I think Jesse Garner is a really important player. Um, but ahead of them, I'm going to go for James Garner. I know there's a lot of court. There's been a lot of calls I've I've seen for Andre Gomez playing. And there is that temptation, oh, he's done all right, and he did all right at the turn of the year, didn't he? And little cameos came on its playing on its spares just before Christmas and really well. And he had, he's had little cameos, but he can never sustain them, and he always seems to pick up an injury. And I think he can give you something coming off the bench with 25 minutes to go if he's fit. I think we've seen that more and more recently. Um, but for me, I'd start James Garner, and I'd play him a little bit higher. And I'd ask him to get on the ball a little bit higher and just try and see if he can make things happen. I think when he plays alongside Onara, he slips into that position too much. I think he gives you a solid three as well in midfield. Um, and that allows that allows us to have two centre forwards on the pitch as well. Um, and I think but I just think that the role he plays when he's playing deep. It just feels like it's, it should either be him or Onana playing in the six. Um, but when he came on the other night, I thought he was—I thought he played really well. Garner, I thought he gives him a, a, a lot of energy. 
and he got round the box and he got on the ball and I think if he played a little bit higher up he could do that, I'm not saying it's the answer but I think for a game where Everton have to be on the front foot, where they have to be pushing forward from the very start, I think having him in there, being busy and having that energy, but using that in the right place, higher up and also closer to the goal where maybe he can get a few shots at, you know we were told before he came out how good he was, his set pieces were good and his shooting was good and all these things. We haven't really seen that too much. Um, so I think I think that's a role. Um, not that he's not, you know, he has played that a little bit. Played that he played in a couple of games when the Corey wasn't wasn't in the uh, was wasn't available. But because we only played one striker, it never really worked because you need the Corey to join in. But for me, I think the Corey needs to sit out. I've not been impressed with him recently. He's never really got back to what he was um, since the injury. And I just think, what's him on, on? I just thought he was so ineffective. And we had a lot of people said on Tuesday night, oh, it's because Onana went off. I think it was because the Corey went off that we suddenly got a foothold. Because we suddenly got an extra midfielder on the pitch who was, who, who was getting a foot on the ball. Whereas the Corey just doesn't really touch the ball that much. He just flits around and. When it works, it's great because he can get on the end of things. He can score goals. He can know the the defense now don't know whether to pick him up, or the midfield knows when to pick him up. But just of late, he's he just hasn't quite it just hasn't quite worked. So I'm going to go for Garner in there, and then ahead of them, I'm going for Beto and I'm going for Dominic Carvalhoon. We're playing at home. We're playing against a team that's you know in the bottom three that we have to have a go at. You know, we can play both ways with these two. We can go long and we can also play in the channels for, for Beto. I know it hasn't worked before. I know it, it, it hasn't quite worked, but I just I just I just think now and again you need to change things up in a in a manner that gets fans excited. Um he's been you know, he used he used Dom off the bench on Tuesday and he scored. He used Beto off the bench last Saturday and he scored. How about just maybe just starting them together? Because a lot of the time, as I said, the core is either near or there. And I think if you've got two centre forwards on the pitch, it gives the opposition team something to think about. Um, and, you know, Dom could maybe drop off at times and, and provide... Uh, provide the midfield something to, to aim for to get back and then get it wide I just I just think I just think there's opportunities at times to try different things and obviously I talk about playing three at the back a lot again I think that's something different I just don't think 4-1-1 one, one in the guys that we've been playing it recently has worked and what we saw on you know what we did see on Tuesday night was a slight difference in that yes it wasn't three at the back but because we were because we took the Corey off and we then we had an extra midfielder who was getting on the ball. And then he, later on when we scored, we had Chimiti on. So we did have two centre forwards on the pitch. So that's my start eleven. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you go for? Who would you go for? Uh let us know. Um you know, and we'll see at two o'clock on Saturday what the manager goes for. Don't forget, make sure you check out the match preview. Me and Baz discussed this game in length. So make sure you check that out. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, make sure to join us on Toffee TV Premier where we do daily live exclusive videos. Uh, and there's also no advert on any of the shows or podcasts that we put out on the channel for, you know, less than a, a fancy cup of coffee for a month. I know things aren't great at the moment. I know Everton's a little bit drab, but we do try and have a bit of a laugh over there and lighten it up a little bit, so... You know, why not? Why not? The link is in the description and the QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.